My name's Jamie Mutter and I am the Every Child Succeeds director here. Santa Maria was started over a hundred years ago um, by a nun and they um, started Santa Maria in order to help the Italian immigrants who were coming here at the time. Years ago, I've been here 13 years, um, I was looking for a change. My background is in early childhood education um, and I was um, teaching preschool at the time. Santa Maria kind of found me. I had you know, my resume out there and they called me and I didn't really know much about Santa Maria. Um, I came to the interview and after that interview I just knew I was like this is the place for me. Everyone in Price Hill knows Santa Maria. Um, we're trusted, we build relationships with our families. Um, it's nice because we, are, we have so many different programs so it's almost like a one-stop type of shop. We have hundreds of families that come through here and a lot of our families do go over to the Financial Opportunity Center but then they also have other families in the you know, Price Hill area that go there as well. But we also focus on our community here of Price Hill. We're really there just to be a helping hand. Um, and then we also have another um, early childhood program promoting our preschoolers. So a lot of our children that are in Every Child Succeeds will um, exit our program and kind of go into the Promoting Our Preschoolers program and they focus more on kindergarten readiness. So the Promoting Our Preschoolers program, they really focus on kindergarten readiness and preparing the family for school and helping get the families connected to the school district. In Lower Price Hill, we have a youth center that focuses on the youth, the school aged children that live in Lower Price Hill. And they do a lot of connecting with them and resources, tutoring, um, and just offering them support when they need it. Yeah, there were a lot of changes. When COVID struck, we do home visiting. So we go into the home. We have about, we have 10 home visitors and they each work with 25 families. We're with the babies, we hold the babies, we talk to the moms. And so we weren't able to do that anymore. And we just really had to make a big shift. We had to change. And so um, we started offering Zoom videos, virtual meetings, um, telehealth. We also um, started making YouTube videos that the parents could, we would drop off materials and then the parents could follow along with the YouTube video. There was a huge need for food. Um, Santa Maria wasn't a big food distributor before, but through the pandemic, we did become that for our community because that's what they needed. So we had to shift to what the community needed. Well, we're hoping to get back to in-person. We're starting to do that now. You know we. We haven't done parent groups in a long time because of the pandemic. We'd really like to get back to having parent groups. They really need support and that's a great way for other moms to meet each other and find that support network. Um, so we really wanna start doing that again. There has been a little bit of like staff shortage, I would say, um, since the pandemic, um, but we've had plenty of volunteers. I mean, I think our volunteers really get you know it's very rewarding to them and um, throughout the pandemic we've had people volunteering